IEAC. This week we're going to start another new story in our Young Authors Journal. So you'll need your journal, you'll need a pencil, and some colored pencils or crayons to add some picture to your brainstorming idea. Okay, so once you've got those things together, we are going to turn to the next blank page, the next brainstorm box in our book. Okay, and then we're going to need to think about what we want to write, what story we want to create this week. So, as I was thinking about it, I used some different pages in here. I went back and looked at my list of ideas, looked through that, and I also read through, I went back and read through some writing ideas on here, thought about some things, and I decided I wanted to take a very small piece of my beach trip and turn it into a bigger story because when I wrote about the beach trip, I kept thinking about the funniest thing that happened was when we were on the sand and we were looking for shells and my daughter thought she found a shell and she started digging it up and then it, she kept finding more and more of it, kept getting bigger and bigger and then all of a sudden she had undug an entire crab and it was still alive. And so when she got it unburied, it kind of jumped up and started moving and walking across the sand and it scared her and she jumped and screamed and then we all laughed so hard. And it was just this small little moment, but it is a story that I'm going to remember for a long time. We're going to be retelling every time we go to the beach. So um, it wasn't a story that was told in my my story that I wrote last week, but it's definitely something I want to write down and remember. So I'm going to take that very small moment from the beach trip and turn it into a story. Okay, so you'll be able to work on yours too, think about more what you want to put into yours. I'm going to go through mine as an example and then you can work on yours too. So. Some of the things that I want to remember as we were there, here's the ocean water coming in, and we were all standing around looking for shells. I'm just going to draw some quick sketches, not put much detail into my picture right here. Felicia was kind of off on her own. Okay, and people that were there, Mr. Racinos, Isaac, Ariana, me and Felicia. Okay, she was digging up a shell. You could just see just a little bit of it. So I'm going to write down it was a shell. We were looking for shells. And then when she got it uncovered, it actually ended up being a crab. Who was not very happy with her for digging him up and he walked off and we laughed so hard she went through some different feelings she was surprised she squealed <laughs> let's see what other details can I add into my picture um, if you remember it was pretty foggy so you can get the sand the beach kind of drawn here the weather was not very warm it was pretty cool
There's my sand. So you can pause the video. Think about what small moment, what story do you want to write about? Get the picture all drawn in. Add some color, add some details if you want to write in some words as you're brainstorming that you want to be sure and include in your topic, then make sure you write those down. And then start up the video again after you get your ideas down in the brainstorm box. Okay, once you have your picture drawn in, then we're going to fill in the first spots on our box over here. So you'll need your pencil. Okay, my characters are the same ones from my other story. Mom, I don't go by Mrs. Racinos with my family, I'm Mom. Poppy, that's Mr. Racinos. Isaac, Ariana, and the star of this story is actually going to be Felicia. Okay, the setting, where were we? If I could take a picture, a snapshot of it, what am I going to see? I'm at the beach. If you remember, it was called Seal Rock. We were standing on the sand. The weather was cool, foggy. We could hear the waves. And we could actually hear some um, birds. There were actually pelicans and seagulls around. So I could see all of that. So I'm going to make sure and put all of that in the setting. Okay, if you need to pause the video so that you can get your characters listed in, you can do that. What did you see? What did you hear? What did you, what was the weather like if you were outside? What was around you in that setting? Write in as many things as you can. And then when you're ready, start the video back up and we'll go on to the next box. Okay, so I'm ready to go on. I've got my beginning, middle, and end here that I need to put in some feeling or action words. So when we first started, we were just looking for shells. So we were looking for shells. We felt calm, hopeful that we were going to find something pretty. Yeah, just happy to be there. Okay, in the middle of my story, that's where I'm going to put that Felicia was excited. I'm just going to abbreviate F was excited. She had found a cool shell. And then, all of a sudden, the shell started walking. So, I'll put that it was a crab, and she felt very surprised. <laughs> okay, and then, after that, at the ending, we all realized what had happened, and we laughed so much. <laughs> at her reaction, um, laughed, and um, we watched the crab walk away. Okay, so boom. Pause the video here, take a few minutes, think about what happened at the beginning, middle, and end of your story, what feelings did you have, what actions happened, 
get as many of that into the box as you can and then when you're ready start the video back up and we'll go on to the lead sentence okay so I'm ready to go on to the lead sentence I'm going to flip back to this page up here that says narrative transitions okay so I know we went over these in our last story. Let's pick a different one for this story. So I could use one day, one morning, one evening, long ago. Well, it wasn't a long time ago. It was just last summer. One time it all started. That's the one I used in my last story. It all began last summer, winter, spring, fall, in the beginning. I think I'm going to start with... Um, one morning. I think it was in the morning we were out there. We had gone out after breakfast. I'm going to start with that one morning. Comma. Let's see. I guess I'll put um, one morning my family decided to go look for shells on the beach. Okay, I've got my capital letter to start my sentence, my period to end it. I've got a comma after my transition words in there. So check for all those things when you're writing your lead sentence in. And when you're finished with all of that, I would like to see and seesaw a picture of your brainstorm box, any words that you wrote in there, the pictures that you did, any details you're adding in, and the character setting, the beginning, middle, and end, feelings and action, and your lead sentence. Okay? When you're loading it into Seesaw, I'd love for you to push the microphone button and record yourself reading to me all the different things. You can explain your picture to me as well and talk me through why you chose to put the details in that you did. That helps me to understand what you're thinking when you're writing and it really helps me to understand your work. Okay, thank you so much.